So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make some stairs and a ramp up to your landing. So I'm going to choose this side landing here with my neat little gable roof. And we're going to go to ground level and then click our architecture tab and do stairs. So we'll click on that button there and need to make sure I'm constrained ground level to main floor. And it has other things here, desired number of treads and all that junk. And that's fine. We're just going to click apply. So now I need to make my stairs. I'm going to make them a little bit further away from here. And you can see that the stairs clearly do not go um, that far. They don't reach the deck. So I'm going to click it in here square. It'll make exactly the number that we need. Now I click the Modify tab. And I click in the middle here. If you click in the edge, it's not going to select the stairway. So click in the middle. And then scroll down here and change our width to 4 feet. And then apply. Oh, there it goes. Then click our check mark. And we have stairs that lead up and then drop you off into the ground, which is not very nice. So we need to click on our deck. And then we use the align button that's up here. Click on that one. I love the align button. And we're going to align starting from the deck to the stair. Oh and it just snapped it right in place. And then if I click this and I click the left arrow key, lefty lefty, kind of move it towards my pillar there. It's all neat and great and cool and awesome. And a little too far for me. Okay, there we go. Now if we look at that, you can see we have some stairs. Looks great. Now let's do the ramp. So we'll go back to our ground level. And I hope I don't screw this up, do I have to start over? Okay, click ramp. And the ramp is going to be pretty huge because we're going up about three feet on this. So we want it at ground level and we want it main floor, not top of foundation. And we want a four foot width. So that's good. So we apply that. And now we're going to make our ramp sort of start maybe here ish so that we have enough room for the wheelchair to kind of drive up in there. And we'll start it here. And if I zoom out, I'm scrolling down on the mouse wheel, zoom out, and I'm clicking the mouse wheel and moving over here. Uh, you can see that that is how big a ramp would be, but it would lead us into nowhere. So I'm going to set our ramp so that I am about halfway. It says 34 feet, 9 inch remaining. You can see it's sort of right underneath my little pointer here, 34 feet, 9 inch remaining. So about half of that would be about 17, something about 18 feet. Uh, I'm going to make it just under half so that my bottom portion of my ramp is shorter than my top portion because otherwise it'll scoot toward the stairs. So I'm going to make 17. And now I go up here and see that dotted line that appears? That's okay. So I'm going to click up here and, oh, see how it connected just like that? That's just beautiful. And now we move all the way over to the left and I'm just going beyond there just to make sure it shows it all in there. And I click. Oh, and you see it made the little turn there. <laughs> Now, if we click the little align tab, we're going to align this to this, and that, and then click modify. Now, you have to click this blue line here to be able to edit that. So I'm going to make this about four and a half feet, 4.5, and see how that kind of ooched it in there? That makes my ramp a little closer together. Now I'm going to click the check mark. Now it's it's inside the deck and it's all sorts of weirdness so I'm gonna click and whoops I gotta select my deck oh there it is I got it click in and I'm just gonna move it out here and now I want to click my align tool again and I'm gonna align to the edge of the house and then I want to align to the deck so click the deck first and then I click here and now you can see I have enough room to get onto my ramp and I'm gonna room to get into my stairway and that's good now I might want to actually move my ramp a little bit further away from my deck or from my house. Ah, I don't know. Let's take a look at it first. Oh, that's just beautiful. Oh, I love it. Okay. So that is a ramp and stairs. Now, yeah, I understand. I see that it's like way out here in the side of the house and that's really weird and everything. Um, that is uh, that is a problem. Um, but for what we're doing, the purposes of what we're doing is to, you need to show that you understand how to build a ramp onto here. Um, likely, we would adjust the topography 
if you were designing this home and you would build up the earth around one entrance of the house so that you don't have to have a ramp that goes up forever like this um, and sticks way out at the edge of the house and comes around the front of the house and looks really weird like that. Uh, but for our purposes, you need to be able to have stairs in, you need to be able to have a ramp onto one entrance, stairs onto two entrances, onto both. You don't need a ramp for both. And then I would need to create a railing connecting these two entrances, the two ramps and stairs here, and another railing over here. And that should do it in five minutes and 35 seconds.